Bucky Fuller, who I served with on the Hunger Project Advisory Council for nine years, who died not too long ago, said that 99% of who you are, you can't touch, you can't see, you can't smell. 99% of you is untouchable, unsmellable, invisible. It is what Ken Kais has called your, your conscious awareness. It's, your, it's what looks out behind those eyeballs. What is that? It isn't, it isn't cells. It's some kind of conscious awareness that you are. And make no mistake about it, you've occupied a whole lot of bodies already. Now this is not reincarnation talk. Although, I don't know about this reincarnation. People ask me if I believe in it. I said, well, I taught in a junior high school in the inner city of Detroit for four years. And I saw those dead bodies come to life every day at three o'clock. <laughs> so I believe <laughs> in reincarnation, all right? Now, if what you, if 99% of who you are, you can't touch and you can't feel and you can't smell, then where did, what is it? Who is it? Where are you? What is this thing called your essence or who you are? And where does it go? Now think of this. You were in a body. I have a little baby girl who's uh, 11 months old. And she, and we were all in a body that size. What's well, only a body about this big? Got fingers only this long, <laughs> you know? Got uh, tiny, tiny little parts all over the place. I mean, she's only this tall. Now, is that her? Is that her essence? Because I have other children who are much older, and I am much older than that, and I can remember being three and being in a different body. Still me, still my essence there, different body, totally different, doesn't even look anything like when I was 11 months old. And then I was 13 and had a funny body at 13. <laughs> But still my essence was there in a whole new body. Hairs growing all over the place that I didn't understand, all kinds of things happening to it, you know. Then hairs falling out of it later on, you know. Looking at those hairs that fall out, say, what held it in yesterday, you know? What, I don't know, I don't even understand that, okay? And so it's like who I am has been in many, many bodies already, all right? And that essence, you see, everything on our planet that is alive can never die. It can never die. Life doesn't die. It just transforms. It just moves on to new places and new ways of being. New ways of being. And the way of being that is the most transcendent of all is this way that comes from seeing yourself as love and only having that to give away. Only having that to give away. Let's say I were to stand up here in front of you and just visualize for a moment that I have an orange and I take this orange and I squeeze it as hard as I can squeeze it, okay? What's gonna come out? Juice. What kind of juice? Orange juice. Apple juice, any chance? Once in a while? Come on, now and then. A little mango juice come out of an orange once in a while? No mistakes, right? Never, no matter what. Next question, everybody passes. These are easy, okay? Why? When you squeeze an orange, as hard as you can squeeze it, does orange juice come out? Because that's, not because it's an orange, because that's what's inside, isn't it? On our planet, when you squeeze something, what comes out of it is what's inside. Not too difficult, all right? Does it matter if your mother squeezes the orange? Does it matter what instrument she uses? Does it matter if you just had your period and then you squeeze an orange? <laughs> Does it matter if your boss squeezes it? How about if your kids do it? Your kids squeeze an orange. Does it matter? Does it matter what time of day? Suppose they do it at noon, all right? How about at four in the morning? Does that matter? Whenever you squeeze an orange, the only thing you get out is what's inside, right? No arguments. Same thing works for you same principle works for you. It's a principle of the universe, all right? Someone squeezes you. That is, someone puts pressure on you. Someone says things about you that you don't like. Someone puts uh, attention on you, whatever. Your boss says something to you that you don't like. And out of you comes anger. And out of you comes hatred. And out of you comes fear or out of you comes stress, or out of you comes 
tension. Why? Is it because of your boss and the way they squeeze you? Never. Is it because of your mother? I mean, she really can be a pain sometimes, right? Is it because of your children? No. What comes out of you always when someone squeezes you is what's inside. This is the, the vital principle of being a no-limit person. It's so crucial to get this and understand that. That if you have any hatred in your heart for anyone in this world or any anger or any fear or any of those things, it has nothing to do with the rest of the world. It only has to do with what you put inside. Now, how does what gets inside of you get there? That's the key. How does it get there? As you think. Only as you think. You see, there's no anger in the world. There's no stress in the world. There's no tension. It's perfect. We've already established. It's perfect place. It works just fine. It's all flowing the way it's supposed to flow. The evidence for it is, it is. <laughs> That's all the evidence you need. Just look around you. Everything out there is a miracle. Everything, including you. There are no mistakes. It's all perfect. And everything that happens to you in your life, whether it's a trauma, whether it's a disease, whether it's somebody treating you in a certain way, there's a lesson in all of it. No limit people understand the lesson in life and therefore celebrate the lessons.